July, 2054 AD. The Earth was caught in a great battle between unknown alien forces. Their weapons were terrifying and powerful beyond human reckoning. Our planet was overwhelmed. Its surface reduced to ash and rubble in the blink of an eye. The coalition government knew the war was coming. In response, they prepared the Earth-like colonization project, Project Exodus. Interstellar arcs were launched all across the planet, from every major city on Earth. Bravely, we leapt from our cradle, our home for the last four and a half billion years. But most of the arcs never even made it out of the atmosphere. Only a small handful managed to escape. Among them was our ship, the White Whale. After leaving Earth behind, we spent two years wandering in space, searching. We thought of ourselves as the lucky ones, the pioneers who would settle a new world. But our past caught up with us, literally. The alien blitz was unrelenting. If not for the efforts of a lone hero, we would never have survived. Our ship took heavy damage. We lost control. With our flight systems down, the White Whale was pulled into the gravitational fields of a nearby planet, its hull shattering and breaking to pieces as we plummeted toward the surface. Since then, two months have passed. Hello everybody, I'm going to to you and welcome to the 12 Days of Gaming. In today's episode, we'll be playing through Xenoblade Chronicles X. And, uh, you know me, we're going to play with the female character. Now, I'm not going to be commentating throughout the entirety of the character creation. I will be fast forwarding through it. But I will say one thing before we start fast forwarding. We are incredibly lucky that the planet we crashed on has oxygen. <laughs> but without further ado... Fast forward! Attention, external access confirmed. Disengaging stasis. In 10 seconds, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hey there. Looks like you're all in one piece. Be careful. Just take it nice and slow, okay? Your senses will need time to reactivate.
Your pod is the only one around that landed intact. Good thing I found you. My name's Elma. You want to tell me yours? You don't even remember your own name? It must be the stasis hangover. That's not good. Just try and focus, all right? So you'll be able to name uh, your character in this game, anything you want. I'm going to be naming my character Cross uh, for this video because I believe that's what her canon name is for Xenoblade Chronicles X. Good, there we go. What else you remember? It'll come. In the meantime, I'll get you up to speed here as best I can. How are your limbs? Can you move? We'll take it easy while you shake the stasis out of your system. One step at a time, all right? First things first, you'll be needing a weapon. There you go. All right, let's get going. Yay, things that you can pause the video and read on your own time, because I don't feel like doing that right now. <laughs> Alright, so, this is a Xenoblade Chronicles X for the Wii U. This is a spiritual successor to the greatest game on the Nintendo Wii, and this game is also really cool. I really like uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X. I don't think it's as good as uh, the original or Xenoblade 2, but I still think this is easily one of the best RPGs in recent years, and it may very well be the best RPG on Wii U. Most of the White Whale's life pods didn't survive the crash, like this one. You're one of the lucky few. Right. You don't even remember the White Whale, do you? You know, the L002? The ship we escaped Earth on? You remember Earth, right? Planet Earth. Your homeworld. Or rather, it used to be anyway. Unfortunately, it was caught in a battle between two alien forces. And destroyed. Ring any bells? Don't feel bad. It's one memory I'd like to forget. I know. It's been following me for a while now. I didn't want to alarm you, but we're going to need to defend ourselves. You up to the task? More dialogue! <laughs> Alright, so, something pretty interesting about uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X compared to um, the original game was the fact that this game has a silent protagonist that you can completely customize. I'm not quite sure what it's like nowadays, but Xenoblade Chronicles X used to have a fairly big online presence uh, where you could connect to Miiverse and share your avatars and things like that. I don't remember exactly how it works off the top of my head, but it was a pretty interesting uh, system, and I just realized I haven't been reusing my arts at all during this battle. Um, but yeah, this was a online this this was an online um, RPG, and it was pretty cool. It didn't have a huge online presence, but it was still pretty interesting. Hmm, you're not half bad. There's plenty of work back in the city for someone who knows how to handle a weapon, you know. Then you're interested. In that case, I might have just the job for you. But anyway, we can talk more details later. For now, let's keep moving.
So during that battle, we obtained uh, a weapon, so we can go into ground gear and equip that real quick. Except technically we can, because insufficient novel, so that's a little unusual. But, what is by far the most useful feature in this entire game is the fact that we can remove gear. So yay! <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'm weird. But anyway, we can go over here and continue fighting off these monsters and things like that. So there's a treasure over here we can collect. Yay, super shiny! And yes, I'm going to keep the gear removed throughout this entire video. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. But there's also some super shiny things over here. They're super shiny and amazing! That's what makes the single blade one of the best RPGs ever. They have shiny blue collectibles of awesomeness. You can fight all these enemies if you want. I personally know where you want to. Um, you probably could get some pretty good experience from fighting those enemies early on, but I don't really feel like it. Uh, so, we can go over here. One thing that I really do like about this game, and I'm pretty surprised that they didn't keep this for Xenoblade Blade 2 on Switch, was that there's a run button in this game, and that is like one of the most useful things ever, because I do love these games and all, but the movement can be a little bit slow at times. Uh, so I do wish they kept the run button in future games. Uh, I really hope this game does get ported into the Switch. It seems like that's very likely. Nothing's been confirmed yet, but... It would be really cool if they were able to port this game over to Nintendo Switch, because this is a very big game, and it would be nice to be able to have it portable. Alright, so I have some more enemies over here. The arts, how, if you don't know how Zimbly works, um, all of your characters have different arts that you can use to deal additional damage and do more uh, special things like that. So, uh, so this is basically how the combat works. After you use an art, it's going to take some time for it to go back to normal and things like that, so uh, during that time you'll be able to use your um, auto, auto attacks and things like that. So that's something that's pretty well worth mentioning. What's really cool about this game is that you can switch back and forth between a knife and a gun, and that's pretty useful. They both have their own strengths and weaknesses. Um, I believe gun fires quicker, uh, but a sword deals more damage. I'm not quite sure about the exact uh, details of that, but that's what I always, um, that's what I always thought. I might be wrong about that, because I'm dumb. <laughs> the rain's starting to let up, just in time for sunrise. Follow me. I promise, you're gonna love this. Wild, huh? They're all indigenous, as far as we can tell. We need to learn to play nice with these guys if we're going to try and coexist together.
We call this planet Mira. You won't find it on any star chart. But it's our new home. Recognize the habitat unit? That's where we're headed. Watch yourself. That first step's a doozy. We can jump if you like. You could handle the fall. But the indigens down there are another story. Some big, some mean, all nasty. Given our options, the high road here would be the safer way to go, relatively speaking. That said, whichever way you want to go, I'll follow your lead. You decide. Do I really need to say it? Okay, yes I do. This is such a pretty game! Okay, I'm, I've been wanting to say this for a long time, that's kind of one of the bigger reasons why I'm making this video for the 12 Days of Gaming. This is easily my favorite looking game on Wii U. This game is just so pretty, and it's just one area of the game, and we can go anywhere we want at any time, and there's this big open world, it's even bigger than Breath of the Wild, and I believe it's, big, it's bigger than Skyrim and some other open world games combined, and I don't remember those off the top of my head because I don't play those games, but... Oh my god, this game is so pretty! And no fall damage! Where is this in the other Xenoblade games? But, in all seriousness, this game is just so freaking gorgeous, it's... This is... Definitely one of the best games on Wii U. Now, what's really cool is that you gain experience from dis from discovering areas like this, so from exploring this huge world, you get experience from it. Uh, and you can see anything you see on screen right now, you can explore it anytime you want. Kind of. Obviously those higher mountains up there, you may need you may wait need to wait until a little bit late in the game to be able to go there, but Without further ado, we're gonna take on this giant level 54 monster. No, we're not. We're just gonna be exploring for a little bit. I have an idea for when we're gonna end off this video. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And this is a video that I particularly want to make for this year's 12 Days of Gaming. Because the Xenoblade games are, st are games that I really want to let's play. As you may or may not know, these games are pretty big. And by pretty big, I mean... The first one alone has like 400 side quests and things like that, so yeah, that'll take a really long time to plan out. And don't even get me started on this one because this game's even bigger than the original. Uh, so, yeah, the Xenoblade games are stuff that I've been wanting to let's play for a long time. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do it for a while, and I'm not entirely sure when I will, really would be able to do it at all, to be completely honest. So, that's the reason why I'm making this video. If you want me to do let's play this game, as usual, let me know in the comments below. Um, and I'll consider it, but keep in mind, particularly with the Xenoblade games, it's gonna be a while before it can happen. So, our destination is over there towards uh, the giant building in the distance. Now, we can fight uh, all these enemies if we want. You want to be careful with those bull enemies over there, because that red indicator, I believe that means they'll attack you if they see you or something like that, so we want to sneak around them. At least I think that's what it is, if it's anything like the original Xenoblade. Um, it's been a little while, admittedly, since I've played a Xenoblade Chronicles X. Uh, the thing is, after the Nintendo Switch came out, I kind of uh, been playing more Breath of the Wild than Xenoblade X, admittedly. But if this game ever comes out for the Switch, then I'm definitely gonna double dip. <laughs> uh, right then. So, what we want to do is we want to go over this way. Ah, da, 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 da. No! 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 I am your friend! I am your friend! I am not your- I'm your friend, not food! Get away from me! Get away from me! Get away from me! Get away from me! Get away! Don't let your buddies hurt me too! No! No! Get away! No! Go away! Go away! <laughs> this is game is scary! This game is scary! Whew. Oh. Thank goodness we didn't overreact. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, they're still following us. Get away from me. Uh, oh, well, almost dead. Oh well, we're, we're doomed. And get away from me. Now, 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 and we're dead. Well, that's the end of the video. <laughs> we got an achievement from that. <laughs> uh, I could have been a bit smarter about that. Uh, where's the town? It's that way. Okay, okay. 
Yeah, if you die, then you'll warp back over towards Ellen Markham. So that's one that's going to be pretty well worth mentioning because it's pretty important for living. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're, we're very early in the game, so simple enemies like that are going to be pretty difficult to deal with if we try to find them now, right now. You probably could defeat them if you were determined enough, but I'm not. I just want to admittedly finish this video up pretty soon because I'm recording this at like 5 in the morning. <laughs> Uh, I really do love this game. If you have, if you still play the Wii U, you should definitely try this game out. Oh. Uh, no! No! Leave for me! Get away from me! Get away from me! Get away from me! I am your friend, that food! <laughs> I am so sorry for my singing. Can you find it hard to forgive me? Ooh, the shadow of a flying thing. And we can't see it. Well, we have a landmark discovered. Yay! I believe that's our destination over there, so without further ado, let's collect more shiny bees and jump! We live to full life! We almost didn't make it! I love how the character roll, rolls uh, when they land on the ground, that's pretty cool. That's a nice little detail. Looks a lot bigger up close, doesn't it? And this was just the habitat unit. The White Whale was one hell of a ship. Until it all came crashing down, at least. That's the West Gate. It's closed off now for security reasons. But we've repurposed a freight elevator that will get us inside. I probably should have uh, fought some more enemies before coming here, but eh, whatever. Let's go fight these bad guys. Thankfully, this battle isn't too difficult. This is a tutorial, after all. Uh, so, um, something pretty cool is that Elmo will give us advice for when the best time to use these arts are. Uh, they'll be flashing on screen, uh, which is really nice because if you're playing this game with the volume turned low like I am right now, that it'll be particularly helpful. Uh, so that's something that's pretty well worth mentioning. Uh, this. The kind of, something kind of odd about this game, admittedly, is there's really no, there aren't really any healing arts in this game, like there were in Xenoblade 1 and 2. Uh, so that's one thing I'm not a particular big fan of. But what I do like is the fact that you can see the limbs come off of these monsters, and that's just really cool. It's very it's kind of morbid, but it's an awesome detail, and I like it. We have flame grenade, okie dokie. Uh, I don't remember exactly off the top of my head with all these. Well, okay, I was about to say I don't remember the top of my head with what they all do, but there's descriptions on the bottom of the screen that I can read. Well, in my defense, in my defense, the text on the screen is very small and hard to read at times. <laughs> That's like my biggest problem with this game. It's a shame we had to settle near so much wildlife. Luckily, some species aren't so hostile. But they aren't necessarily friendly, either. I've come to learn that there's a fine line between self-defense and provoking a fight. We need to walk that line. Alright, let's head in. Who knows, maybe seeing the inside will jog your memory. Achievement unlocked. Yay! Huh? It's gonna be super amazing, and we're gonna be jumping. Wee! I really love how high you jump in this game. <laughs> I don't know why, I just love it so much. Like, climbing mountains and with this kind of overpowered jump is honestly one of the best parts of this game, which is saying a lot because this game is pretty awesome. So, it looks like we can't get through this way, but luckily... Oh! There's a staircase over there. Ooh, that's fancy. And I'm not going to talk to that person, because I don't feel like it. I'm going to press the button. 
It's this button that I'm looking for. Hey, here we go. Uh, if you're wondering what these, uh, what this blue gel thing is, um, I don't I won't spoil it right now, but trust me, when you play this game, it will, the game will explain what that is for uh, a little bit later. Uh, we probably want to see the explanation in this video, just simply because of the fact that we'll be ending it off pretty soon. Uh, in case you're going to tell by the timestamp of this video. But without further ado, let's go inside. Too shabby, huh? For a giant beached spaceship, anyway. But, like it or not, this place is our home now. We took the name from the city it was modeled after back on Earth. We call it New Los Angeles. Welcome to NLA. And so it was that another survivor came to join our band of refugees. Together, we resolved to forge a new way of life here on Mira, come what may. New LA was our beautiful lie to ourselves. Truth is, we were adrift, heading into the unknown. Our native home was gone, swallowed in a shroud of light, and our future was uncertain. We had no idea what fate lay in store for us. Only that we had to keep living in order to see it. <laughs> 